Hello everybody, welcome back to the Poker Playthrough Tournament Series. Wasn't sure if I was going to do any more of these, but uh, I was kind of messing around with my recording setup, and I wanted to try some of uh, my external microphones because the iMac microphone was a little different. So first of all, again, this is for educational purposes. I am playing with real money, but as a dollar buy-in, this is not supporting or promoting gambling, but I just want to talk you through poker strategy. Again, this will be, I think, part 16, maybe. But just the tournament structure. Fold here. The tournament structure is 10-minute rounds before the blind change. Um, Nine-person tournament. Top three get paid out. Again, a dollar to buy in. Um, make the screen a little bigger here. My cute face a little lower. So I'm sure you guys all like to look at me. But just commenting on any... Um, any any strategy things I can I, that come to mind. So as you can see, my balance. I think when I did the last one was I don't know fifty to eighty dollars. So I have played it down pretty substantially. But I just play tournaments when I'm doing my movie review content. And I did want to try out this microphone. Not a new microphone. It is an Aston Origin, but um, I've never used it for. I use it for recording a couple songs. But I just like my natural voice quality better when I'm recording a song. But wanted to try it out here. So now on to the tournament commentary. So we got a 60, sloppy, sloppy flop, all that slop. But my, my YouTube my career has been taken off pretty substantially. As you can see, uh, I'm up to uh, doing a, um, uploading a video right now. But movie reviews are taken off. My channel's just taken off. I can't, can't uh, say anything but thank you to all the supporters. I'm up to 77 subscribers. With a paid promotion, I threw a hundred dollars at this. Uh, I know we're gonna get to the poker tournament once I'm in a hand. But straight draw, flush draw, the one card straight. Someone's got a straight here. Someone's got a ten. But yeah, look at my 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 progress. I have yep fourteen dollars and I got three subs. Sweet. <laughs> Ooh, flushy, flushy. Okay, on to, on to the poker tournament. Pocket nines. Let's get it. So a call here. Again, I don't like to, on any good hand that I have, I never really like to uh, raise pre-flop. Obviously, some exceptions. Um, exceptions being if there's a lot of other raises out there um, and the pot's big enough where it's substantial. Um, later in the tournaments, if it's heads up, if it's something like that, um, we'll change it. But typically, I just like, again, I'm a pretty conservative player. Um like to see the hand develop a little more than, you know, if you raise pre-flop, you're indicating that you have something good. So you can hit and then it'd be good, or you can uh, kind of fall out and it not be so good. So we have 3, 5, 10 on the flop. Um, middle pair, not top pair. Low bets I will call. See what, see what happens, how it develops. So call in 20. And then again, the, the blind rounds or the flights are 10 minutes apiece. So I do like Bovada. They up, updated their thing where they have they show the previous winning hand in, in terms of cards and not just typed out. So seven, pretty inconsequential. No flush draw yet. Maybe for spades. Um, sloppy straight draw. Maybe four six. So middle pair. Another twenty. I'm in. He's either got a ten or he's got nothing. Yep. So I got the one. Took down the pot. Sweet. Pocket nines again. Middle pair. Not enough to raise or to really do anything besides just call uh, lower end bets queen 10 we shall play yeah i told you my my youtube my youtube career has been just 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 on a rocket ship <laughs> straight to nowhere straight sideways oh whatever i just don't care i like making videos and nobody watching them so come on come on poker etiquette which uh, uh, admittedly, I'm not the best poker etiquette when I'm watching a movie with the poker in the background. So who am I? Who am I to talk? So we got a small raise. Um, again, I like to call these ones. Again, I have you know, queen ten. Not not a great hand. Not a terrible hand. But t someone raising's got a pocket pair or an ace king, ace queen, ace jack, ace ten, something to that effect. And so if you hit like you know a three of a kind or something, you know two pair, three of a kind's always out there. Um, can it, as we said before, very hard to get any indication when that's going on. You know, so you just gotta, gotta get the reps in. So three, five, nine on the flop, you know, one card flush draw. 
a sloppy straight draw, nothing really. I'm not going to carry on with this hand. Too many people in the hand for me to carry on with a pre-flop uh, raise. So someone's either getting pocket pair or ace-king. Now there, there's the ace. And so I would certainly, if I would have called there with the 20, any bet here with an ace out there with a pre-flop, there's a big bet. There's an ace. Maybe a flush draw. But so, yeah, would have connected on a flush draw with diamonds. But um, pre-flop raise to big bets, obviously, it indicates a hit for sure. Whereas opposed to, again, if you check, if you don't raise pre-flop, you, you can kind of, you know, act like you don't have a big hand or you can I think you can develop it better. Ace two, hate ace low card. Ow. Hit the ace, you're all excited, as we've said before. And then somebody has a higher off guard, I'll guarantee. Every time. So ace low card is a very, very bad hand. And there's a raise. And so there again, so a re-raise on a pre-flop isn't isn't necessarily the worst idea because they're gonna be kind of someone's gonna call this. But if there's a raise is pre-flop, again, even if the pot's big enough, that's when I would raise pre-flop. And if it's a raise and then I have a good hand, I would re-raise. So there's a call. Four of hearts, jack of spades, six of clubs. Kind of all over the... So we either pocket pair or, you know, high high cards. So we got a shove, so probably a, a high, high pocket pair. Don't get to see the cards. Again, it's easy to commentate poker when you can see the little cameras and see everybody's hands. But we're doing it real, commentating as it goes. And so 2-5. Where are we at in the flight? Three minutes left. I'll play it. Maybe hit a low straight. You get the random flop of three of a kind, two pair. Any raises, I will be out. And so it's August 4th. Got a month and a half until I literally demand all of my research be returned or destroyed. And that is the furthest thing from a joke. If my life doesn't matter, my research doesn't. And considering there is no constitutional rights whatsoever, uh, so we got a gut shot for a straight out of four. Any bet I'm out. There's a lot of people in the hand. Can we check around the board? We do. Another 10. Again, I have nothing to bluff with. Again, I'm not a big bluffer. In real life, IRL, I bluff nada. Absolutely nothing. But here, <laughs> yeah, man, you have to act like there's rules and laws and stuff when there's people that literally come up to you and say, we can do whatever we want, but we won't give you a time frame to manage your money, and we'll steal all of your property. So that's America. And all the people that are aware of that will do nothing to help you. Like, literally nothing. Like, I mean, they got not giving me a job. A <laughs> way, way to pay bills. So checking around the board. But again, I got... Several years of savings for sure, but I'll just go get a low-end retail job. Maybe socialize a bit. Maybe get a girlfriend. That's not possible. You can't date women that have no values. <laughs> get mad. Get mad. Please get mad. It's true. It's true. People are whores. People are whores and incompetent. <laughs> Selfish whores and pathetic. And that's all people do. So I hit the king on the on the river. Yeah, nothing. Nothing developed for me that hand. Ten three. I am out. So again, hopefully get some new dynamics. I forget, you know, we've done 15 of these before. Got a couple in the money, mostly losses. I won this morning. I already got second place this morning. So hopefully we'll get a, a placing tournament today. We shall see. But I just reviewed the Pursuit of Happiness, which we might as well get that published. If it's not already. Yep, it's published. Sweet. I love it. See, when pe most people do YouTube, they get all excited when the when the confetti goes off, the confetti goes off literally when I get one view within like three hours of uploading a video. <laughs> literally. So, you know how we do it. Everything's just, there's so much freedom in America. I just love this country. I mean, you can do so many things. There's so much upward mobility. After you get swatted four times, your entire property destroyed, and you try to claw out a business, they'll just fucking destroy that too. Uh, try not to swear too much. Okay. Okay. Even though everyone says fuck every two seconds in real life, but... We have to be polite and respectful online so we can facilitate shitty behavior in the not truth. <laughs> king, king, two on the flop. So we got small bets going around. A lot of people still in the hand. But I think I do like the, the vocal quality or just the recording quality of this microphone. Again, I bought this lavier microphone that I used on my in-time movie review. I did not enjoy the sound quality. So either no microphone or this and... My little camcorder, not exactly sure how it hook up. It needs a USB input, so I don't know if I'd get some adapter to use this microphone. But I could do that. 
I, mean, I honestly forgot I had this microphone. Yeah, I bought this back in Philadelphia for recording. So big bets. Probably with someone playing a slow king. Flush draw. Pocket pocket pair. Full house potential. Big bets. King versus king. Oh, king versus someone that's in the hand too long. <laughs> Never ever fill price into a hand. Seven four. Now, feeling price into a hand is different than trying to lead a convincing bluff, meaning if you raise pre-flop and then you continue on with a heavy bet. I wouldn't say that's price in, that's just trying to continue a bluff, but in the long run, bluffing doesn't work. And again, always show my cards so then if it, it need be later in the tournament, people know how you're playing, then you give them more leeway. If you muck your cards, then people don't know how you're playing, so they don't know if you're betting on good hands or if you're bluffing. So if you show them what you got every single time, then it's easier to manipulate later on. So three three raise, we got we got an initial raise to sixty, and then a two raise to a three raise, and again, I'm calling it just the multiple of the um, big blind. So if the big blind's thirty, and I call it a three raise, it's ninety. So five seven eight, good good flop for one of those you know pre raise if you have you know trying to go for the flush draw or the straight draw or flush draw as opposed to people raising pre flop or typically have you know ace king, pocket pairs blah blah blah. So another continue on bet with a 90. It's the same size as before, so no increase. Could be a continuation bet of hitting nothing because he was the one that initiated the three raise after the two raise, and then he folded out. So see, that's not a bad continuation bet, even if he hits literally nothing. Um, he raised pre-flop or re-raised pre-flop and continuing on after the flop. Or as opposed to if you hit a good hand, it's typically more advantageous to um, check a, if you hit on the flop. You can always bet the turn. Betting on the flop really depends. So we got a raise here. Again, I don't like a slow card. But we'll play it. But if there was no raise, I would certainly call it a small blind. Any any further big bets? Or I got to hit something good here. See, there you go. I hit the ace. Well, we're definitely going to check it. He has a raise pre-flop. Ace king out there. Can I hit top pair? But horrible kicker. And four people in the hand. Yeah, I'm folding it out. No, that's that's a higher, that's an ace higher off card for sure. We'll see if he shows his cards. Maybe. Magnetic poles crash me into you. Can you hear the dudes mowing the lawn? Hopefully, that'll be some good background music. There's something that's deeper within the earth. Pushes and pulls you away from me. Something, something, proximity. Shout out this wildlife. Proximity and silver and gold are on heavy repeat at the moment. For show. We've got a raise, pre-flop, two raise. I oh, know. See, this has got 8-2 suited. Would be a hand I would play if, you know, with a higher chip, uh, chip stack. Just to maybe hit a flush or someone raising pre-flop, missing the, missing the flop. King five five on the on the felt here in Brad's. Uh, <laughs> let's get ready to poker. But you know, hopefully you can pick up some of the some of the lawn mowing in the background. That would definitely be helpful. <laughs> so one card full house, um, one twenty two forty. Someone's got a five. Someone's got a king. So who's got the who's got the king? I'm going with two as the king. So this will be a big bet, or if not a shove. No, both got kings. Makes sense. Good bets. Good hand. It's six four. Where are we at in the blinds? If it, whenever it gets typically when it gets to the end of the flight, I'll typically play a hand if I'm not doing much. Six four off suit. Let's play it. Bum, bum, dun, dun, dun. How bad I just want any job opportunity, man. Again, I have top expertise in literally all scientific research is a joke. Musical composition is a joke. Musical performance. But, heck, it looks like I'm going to be working at Whole Foods. I bet you're going to pull some baddies at Whole Foods, though. Probably not. I mean, it's me. I've never pulled a girl in my entire life, let's be honest. But I, I bet there's some, the soccer mom per capita is pretty pretty high in Whole Foods. So I'm thinking that's where I'm going to go is Whole Foods, try to socialize a bit. At this point, I have so much work out there. It's just my life is not going to move forward until someone lets it, and nobody will ever help me. Ten, queen, five. I'm out, out on any bet. A lot of people in the hand. Hits nothing. 
I am out. So we got a three bet post flop. Could be a, a mitigating. Typically, on a, what I'd say a mitigating bet is just throwing some chips out there to see how people respond. Would be just a one bet or two bet. So my guess is that's top pair. We obviously have a huge, big, big raise um, from player seven. And I don't like a raise there. If someone's betting pretty big and you have you, you have a very confident hand, you're going to let them get more into it because you could easily fold out of 90 chips you know, as opposed to getting through the turn or the river. Got a call, though. So my guess is two queens, maybe a two pair, three of a kind always out there. Three people in the hand. Now we got the gut shot flush for both the diamonds and the hearts. So we got a shove there. Somebody's going to call. Certainly seven's going to call. Looks like a three-way shovey. Nice three-way. So we was just going queen 10, two pair. Again, two pair makes sense. Um, the dude shoving on just ace and hits the ace on the on the on the river makes no sense. And even just even just having just a queen top pair before the river would have been a bad 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 call. Too too big of bets. And the, the guy who had the the big shove or the big bet the 570 was a two pair. And so again, you just you should drag him on a little longer. You got lucky that both of them called. Was able to double up or triple up his chip stack pretty good. Um, but, and so, yeah, I was just trying to see if, because I like, I, because now you can see the hands out here. Um, if there was a, if just what other like I had Jack a two, no flush draw, big bet. Probably that's probably like an ace Jack. See if we get a call 300 big bet. So no show, no fun. Boo. Show me your knockers. I mean your cards. 7-9 off suit. Still got a little bit left in the flight. I will play if there's no raise. Come on, trying to get some interesting action here on the felt in Brad's Poker Mania. Bradstars.com. Plus five. So we got a raise, one raise there. Again, if I had a bigger chip stack, that would be a decent hand to play. 7-9 off suit. Someone raising ace king, ace ten, ace jack, whatever, and then you hit a straight, or you hit even just high pair. And so raising pre flop just does not make sense. It's for the noobs. And now, admittedly, I'm very thick noob on Xbox, but this is some real noobs. Bum, bum, dun, 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 bum, bum. 105 on August 4th. This entire year, I have done nothing besides produce content. Really, for the past five years, I've done nothing but produce content. But this year, I've just been doing as much as possible. 15 careers sitting on the internet. Nobody will click on a video. And it's scientific information that affects literally everybody that exists on this planet. But we can't accept that. 6-5, Jack, all spades. So big, big flush draw. If I have a bad hand, I'm checking here. If I have a good hand, I'm checking here. And so an opportunity for a hand like this to bluff, just if you have literally nothing, put in a 3-4 bet. And if anyone's scared about the spades, they'll drop out. And so we have a one bet, might get the fold here, and he does. And so that that's that's a flop where if you have literally nothing, it was, it's not that bad of a uh, bluff. Because if anybody is scared, if they don't have, if they didn't flop the flush, they're going to be scared of the flush. King nine suited, now we got something to go with. So we'll call the two rays. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I think I said I wanted to finish last year with 500 YouTube videos. I got close. To, I think it was like 580. And now I'm at like 930. So, ooh, we got a shovey shovey. I will not call here. We got a, we get, certainly with a call, I will not call. Um, even if I wasn't recording or making a video, I wouldn't call that, no. Too early in the tournament for straight draw, flush draw. But the shove, ooh, triple shove. Tens, queens, queen, jack. Hits the jack, top pair. No queens is still top pair, moving quick. And so a double slump, a double slump. Let's have a moment of silence for player five and player eight. They are out of the tournament. <laughs> hey, closer to the money for Brad. But overall, queen, queen, pocket queens, pocket tens, queen jack suited. Um, uh, more, what was the worst call there? Probably the, the queen jack suited. Again, a pre-flop with a pocket pair is not a bad shove if you're ready to ready to get some going. Um, but. Queen Jack suited. And not, not a terrible call, but not something I would have called because you got to hit. I mean, someone raising, shoving pre flop is a pocket pair or ace with something. Or at least, you know, Queen King suited. So Queen Jack suited, not bad, but just not a, just not a bet I would have called. So board dynamics. 
Again, we have player three, that's me, with 1440. Player four with 1365. And player six with 1038. All about the same dynamic. Six is not really, you know, he's got 1,000 chips. Might be, he's a small stack, but not like in terms of dynamics of how it would change. We have a dominant uh, first place with number one with, you know, more than double of everybody else. Uh, I guess seven has 3,100. And so pretty much the same dynamic between th me, four, and six, and the same dynamic between seven, nine, and one. So seven, nine, eight, nine on the turn. A straight top commanding pair. Come on, show your cards, guys. It's no fun. Ace three as the big blind. The flights have now changed. 25, 50. Big blind, small blind. So hopefully no raises. Come on, player one. Ooh, hits the hits the ace. Low kicker, but I got a straight draw. One card straight draw. Hits the straight. I want a uh, uh, commanding hand, possible flush draw. I want him to not scare him away. Don't get scared, player seven. Oh, he got scared. And so that right there is, again, whatever I would have bet, he would have folded. Um, so you're just throwing something out there, hope he calls. But not much you can do in a situation like that where the dude's snap folding at anything that comes at him. Or gal, whoever's on the felt today. So a raise there, a6, no. Maybe suited. And again, anything over like a7, maybe. But jack 10 7 on the flop got a check from seven decent bet slidey bet you know i just always do multiples i never do the slidey so slidey indicates to me they don't know what to bet again you got to get any information you can while playing online as opposed to reading in person cues and so now we have seven four it's a it's a no from me dog it's a fold from me randy jackson american idol somebody got that one out of one raise, or two raise, I guess, trying to be consistent with the terminology. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but. <laughs> oh, man, when does life change? Work hard. Put yourself out there. Nothing will ever come back to you. Got to teach the kids the truth. No matter, you, your life will never surpass. You can, like Going on TV and people like, you can be anything you want. You cannot be anything more than the insecurities of the people that control your fucking behavior. You cannot do anything more than the insecurities of others. Never. 5-8, queen. Flush draw for the clubs. No real straight draw. Checky, checky. Six is a commanding low stack. Now you have to any bet here, be ready for a shove. It's either shove or fold from six. Oh, we got a call. So this will most likely develop into a shove for six. What are we doing? Nine. Nine initiated the best post flop. Probably will call. If he doesn't call here, why? Why did? You, why? What were you? What were you calling on before six? We get a call from seven. This could still be a shove situation. Nine's definitely progressive, obviously. Queen, probably. Maybe queen with a flush draw. Come on, show your cards. Boo! Boo! Six, Jack. Okay, let's play a hand. Dun, ba, dun, 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 dun. And so I might start making more of these again. Again, I'm done. done, done finished the, the Bible read through was my big history project that I really wanted to get done. And so now that's in the rear view. Another massive history project done, but we'll never publish it because that would require people to change their behavior. And well, can we change the behavior? No. Even though the Vatican is one of the first people to have a UFO, so <laughs> just just keep lying to human beings. Keep lying and facilitating shitting behavior so we can start wars and stuff. Who cares? America's human beings are a joke, but America's the shittiest country of them all. Uh oh, we have a gut uh, straight draw with the nine to the jack. Ace, I am folding any bet. Not in a position. I could try to bluff it. If someone snap, if we snap again here, let's let's go for a little bluff. Let's do a one fifty. Three bet, either. Yeah, eh, got it. We who, jack high baby suckers. <laughs> jack four, I am not in. I've, I've, I've had regular contact with non-human intelligences since I've been a child. But if you say that, you're crazy, even though we can go talk about financial markets and I'm the most sane person in the room every single time. There's bugs in the woods and there's aliens in space and underwater. But I would say the extras really are the ones, the, 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 the spacecraft with the, uh, or the watercraft with the, the scale-looking things, those are from the water. The shiny, shiny metal orbs, those are probably from space. I don't know. We got, what, 12, 15 crafts? 
documented upwards of 70 species. And everyone just lies. <laughs> Too bad I solved science in an hour. 10-7. Where are we at in the flight? Only halfway through. <laughs> That's the wild card. You guys weren't expecting a math subject on your desk done in an hour. And so... Oh, what are we going to do? Dr. Stephen Greer, Ryan, Ryan Graves, David Favor, Jeremy Corbell. Fuck the aliens. Just publish my paper. Let's go from there, man. Which will never happen. But then there's going to be 8 billion people on this planet that realize you guys lied about science continuously for 80 fucking years. Destroying healthcare. Destroying the economy. So four. We're just checking through with a four. Yeah, low, low pair. I probably would have thrown in something there. Queen six suited as the big blind. Moving along. Hopefully no raises. This is a hand I'd probably call a one raise, not a two raise, or I guess a two raise, not a three raise. Queen six, terrible straight draw. <sighs> Gonna be folding any bet. And so now we got the straight draw. We got snap checks. We'll see if we can just uh, get some quick folds. So we got a call from six, low stack. So tiptoe in there, meaning if you're calling as a low stack, you have something. Or not. So he that was a decent call from six saying, you know, realizing I had nothing, just to try to flush people out of the hand, but then he had didn't have higher than a queen, so as the low stack. Meaning that's that's always pretty much a guaranteed call from um I don't say guaranteed, but a much better call from a higher chip stack. So King Low card, as I said, always absolutely always hits. Um so if there's no five out there, any big bets I will call. You know, if it was ace two, I'd be poo-pooing in my pants. But since it's king to offsuit, then it's definitely the high, a high pair, obviously. So we already have another pair out there. And so let's go ahead and we'll just check it. Because we got two pair high queen, and so not too worried about the low card anymore. Six is out here whiling. I'm more worried about seven than six. And so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go all in on this one. Because we got the we got the buoy of the no five. Five could be out there. King, queen. Oh, there's a five. Oh, I am out. So, womp. And so, bad call for me. And king, king, um, but he had the, he had a higher two pair. And so, king, um, without the two pair, I wouldn't, I would not have called, even with the, obviously, king, king off card always hits. But I was, I was bolstered uh, by the two pair with the queen kicker. So it made sense to call there as opposed to just king with a with a low card as the high card. And so overall, it wasn't bad playing. Obviously, didn't get to the money. Quick little video. We'll probably do another tournament here shortly. So thank you for watching another poker playthrough, and I will see you on the next one.